What's up, professionals? Sparks here. And as of this morning, about an hour ago, we received the DLC for Lowriders Part 2 for GTA 5. So I'm going to proceed to go through and buy the new vehicles, new guns, new clothes, all that stuff, and take a look at it. But I'm going to be starting right now with the new DeClassy Virgo. Well, it's not technically new, but it's now Lowrider status, so you can bring it to Benny's. Upgrade it. I think it was like 300 grand if even to upgrade it, which isn't too horrible There was more definitely for the faction, but as you can see you could change The lights the bumpers the gas tank you can obviously put the vinyls on You can uh, put the hydraulics obviously and change the grill change the tires to whatever you want engine has obviously the newer upgrades, the engine filter, the engine heads, and the um, other stuff that you can randomly do to it, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to complain about that. I like having extra stuff to my car no matter what it is, but this one, probably not as customizable as some of the previous ones we've gotten, which is a shame. It's still a very nice car. Kind of reminds me of Mike's car from Breaking Bad. It looks like that old school, long bodied car. But I had to go with a few different things because it didn't look right to me. Like, I ordered it pink, obviously, stock, but to me it just looked horrible. It was just way too much, so I'm going to go through and change all that. As you can see, you can do the interior stuff, you can do the, the cheetah print, the zebra print, the uh, leopard print or the velour. Obviously I went with the velour because to me it looks really really tacky when you have the uh, the fake furs inside your car. Obviously you can change the dials to whatever you want here. Real quick scan through. There you go. I decided to go with skulls just because I have the Grim Reaper right there. You change your steering wheel obviously but unfortunately there hasn't been that many options for steering wheel if you ask me I wish there was more because they all look pretty much the same minus a couple changes here and there a few tweaks I'm going to go with that one All right, moving down we have the obviously the custom shifter even though I'm not really sure why we have a shifter in our car considering none of our cars are manual I mean yes I know you can do like double clutch and hold the trigger in the A button and try to get yourself some extra grip stuff like that but there's still no actual stock manual cars which would be kinda cool obviously I'm gonna throw in a magnetic plate in the back just as something to uh, add a little extra to it oh, oh I guess not All right. This one, uh, they have the speakers in the backboard, obviously. Most of them have that, but that one was just a straight line all the way across. Not arguing. Just, I wish I'd have some more options of stuff. Like, come on. It's the game, this is the same game that made Need for Speed, or, nope, sorry, sorry, not Need for Speed, Midnight Club. So, they obviously know what they're doing when it comes to car customizations, and then they still just slack off when it comes to GTA. Which I don't understand. So right now I'm going to show you guys the new vinyl liveries, which is pretty cool, but again, it wasn't really my style. As you can see, there's just a shit ton of weird lines, pinstripes, all that stuff. But I'm going to go with that one. And then, obviously, because that with the pink back paint, like back paint behind the vinyl, just looks horrible. So I'm going to end up changing that to a different color. Obviously we have the plates for the front, the vanity plate, uh, cases, I'm going to go with that one because it matches, and then we are going to go with, I believe, a Benny's one, let's see, yeah, this car is pretty cool, it's pretty strong, I gotta say, I was surprised with how much power it has compared to the stock Virgo whenever you talk it to Los Santos and upgraded it the thing still drove like poop but this one seems to have more nut to it not a lot more nut mind you because that would probably make it from a sedan to an actual sport or whatever and we can't be doing that so as you see here I'm going to put on matte black I'm gonna back out 
for anyone that doesn't know the glitch, this still works. So if you want to do this right now, please feel free. You take the matte black, go, you scan through the metallic, back out, go to license plate. I'm going to change my plate. It doesn't matter what you change it to, you just have to change it. And then when you go back to the spray right here, I can put pearlescent on it. So I'm going to put a bright red pearlescent on it to make it shine more inside the vinyl and underneath the vinyl to make it look more one-bodied basically. As you can see the the roof is still very very pink and ugly. Alright so I'm gonna go with a bright bright red. Torino looks good. Alright then obviously I have to change the secondary because that looks horrible so I'm just going to change it back to black let the red take over have a full body unibody car make it look nice and then backing out check the trim color obviously I want to make it red to match everything else and then I'm going to put in turbo and all that sorta of happy stuff but that is pretty much the end of the customizations here minus wheels and windows but no one really gives a crap about the windows <laughs> and we've had the same wheels for upwards of six months now so there's no real change there so I'm gonna take this car out for a test drive and let you guys get a listen to it do a quick couple laps around the block let you guys see how it handles so if you enjoyed this video if it helps you at all please hit that like button or comment with your thoughts or opinions on this car and please feel free to sub to my channel if you want to see more random uh, tutorials or customizations options tests all that stuff when the new updates come out or random stuff I put out when I have time like highlights or jobs that I've made and I will hopefully see you guys in the next video peace out No blowout.